Hello, hello, my dear students. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome back. Happy Easter. Thanks. Hey, I was missing you a lot. Oh my God, it has been like forever since I saw you the last time. <laughs> I, was, I was very excited about today because I was going to see you again. So welcome everybody, welcome Nancy, Maximo, Rosario, Angel, and all the other ones that are going to connect in a moment. Welcome to your class. Okay, thank you, teacher. How was your vacation? What did you do? Mm, I very nice with my family. You spend time with your family. Sir? You spend time with your family. Mm. That's that's the phrase you say. I spend time with my family, you say. Ah, I stand with my family. Very good. I spend, you say, I spend, spend. I, I spend, spend time with my family. I spend time with my family. Very good. Right? Mm. You spend time with your family. Did you eat traditional food? Torrejas, yes. the covered yes. fish and all these things. Yes, I I eat torrejas. You ate, I ate, you say, I ate. I ate. You I ate, ate torrejas, right? Happy yeah. Easter. <laughs> Today's Easter. Okay, you <laughs> ate you. torrejas, right? Did you eat mom beans in honey and, and all these mangoes and all these things from, from Holy Week? Yes, mango, jocotes. Mom beans, mom beans. Mom Mombis? Mombis are jocotes. Mombis. Ah, mombis. Mombis. Y how do you say jocotes in miel? Mombis in honey. Ah, mombis in, in honey. honey. Mombis okay. in honey. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Angel. Iris, how was your vacation? Uh, very well, teacher. <laughs> I I visited my grandmother. Hey, that's nice. And where does your grandmother live? Okay. Where where does she live? In San Vicente, uh, Santa Ana. Oh no, it's cerca. It's yeah. close. You see, she lives close. close. Good, very good. Close. Rosario, what did you do on your vacations? Uh, good evening, teacher. Hello. It's been the holiday in the, no sé si se dice church in the iglesia, or no sé yeah, cómo se dice. In the teacher. church. You spent the holidays at the church, right? At the church. At the church. Hey, that's very good. Do you serve in the church? ¿Sirves en la iglesia? Eh, or you just attend? Yo, yo no, sino que mis children. Ah, your children. Hey, that's very nice. It's very, well, you, you are there as well, right? It's a family business. <laughs> good, very good, Rosario. I am very glad that you went to church and you spent the time there at the y church. Y lo que hice de comida, lo, bueno, lo que hizo my mother eh, de comida fue... No sé si fish se dice pescado. Yes. And you say covered fish. Covered fish. Covered fish is pescado envuelto. Covered yes. fish, but it's not like envuelto de enchivadito, ¿verdad? sino que envuelto de envuelto. <laughs> okay, A covered fish. And for the rest of you, well, welcome everybody. Mr. Maximo, how was your vacation? Yeah, we cannot listen to you, honey. El misterio de la vacación. There you go. I, I rested. You rested. Hey, that's very mm -hmm. nice. Me too. I rested a lot. It was kind of obligate, but yeah. 
It was it was nice. You rested. Good. Did you cook a special food? No, teacher. I no. didn't. No. Your I, family? I I went to the beach. Hey, that's very I, nice. Uh, I went to the beach on Saturday at noon. Hey, that's fantastic. I ate ceviche. Ah, you ate ceviche. Ceviche is ceviche, right? It doesn't change. So you ate ceviche. That's very nice. Okay. Nice that you went to the beach. Who else went to the beach? I didn't. No. Only Excuse Maximo. Me? Uh, only Maximo was the one who go to the, who went to the beach. The other ones, we didn't go. You were the representative there. <laughs> Nuestro representante en las playas salvadoreñas. It was Maximo. <laughs> Good, Maximo. Thank you for representing okay. us <laughs> at the beach. Well, tell me, did you have the opportunity to finish working in the platform, to work in your exercises, to advance? Yes. Yes, teacher. I... Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Unit, unit three and midterm. Hey, that's fantastic. Okay, that's exactly what I was going to ask. Okay. Right, unit, unit three and midterm. And for sure, if you can advance to unit four and start working on it, no problem, right? Because we have this week and two days of the next one for you to complete everything. But the idea is that you advance at least now uh, far from the midterm test right ahorita ya tendrían que ir un poquito más avanzado de los midterm nadie tendría que ir atrás de los midterm okay so this is like something important for you to um, to catch up on these uh, exercises if you have any question i have seen that you have been helping each other that is very nice right i have seen you helping your friends in the group and that is pretty good. So in the last session, I don't know if you remember, what were we talking about in the last class? Last Friday. Demonstration. Uh, to, we were talking about uh, Demonstration. well, demonstrations and specifically about demonstratives, right? Demonstratives. Do you remember which were the demonstratives that we were studying? Yo lo que recuerdo es un tramalengua. <laughs> hey, good. Hey, you remember the, the Peter Peeper, Pick a Pack, Pick a Peppers, right? We were, yeah, we were practicing tongue twisters as well. Very good. And we were talking about demonstratives. There are four words for demonstratives. Do you remember? Yes, teacher. These, those, that. Exactly. You say these. These, this, right? That is the plural. This, that, that and those, 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 right? This short. You say this, and these. It's plural. You say that only one. That it's far, and those. That it's plural. Far. Okay. So, if I show you this one, what demonstrative can you use? This. This, right? Because I am touching it. But if I say this like this that. that that right if i say this these and those those right because you are not touching it remember if you can touch these and these if you cannot touch that and those good very good so we were studying that uh, we were studying that on the previous class. Welcome to all the rest of the students who have joined the class. I am very happy to have you here. Okay, so we're going to go over a little bit on this one. Let me just, okay. I am going to go here. Yes, it's this one. Okay, I have here the class that we were studying uh, before going on vacation, right? The class that we were studying before going on vacation about the different colors, these, that, these, and those, right? And we were using the word, which one? Which one is when you specify, when you specify two things, right? 
But if you say, for example, I have two markers here on different colors, and I say, eh, which one do you like most? To say the red one or the blue one, right? Which one? And you say, I like that one. And I say, which one? The red one, right? So that's the way you use one. And if you say, hey, teacher, I need a marker. Which one? Which one do you need? The blue one or the red one? That is the, the use for the word one, right? This one. And we were doing this exercise, right? This was the last exercise that we did about the sweater and it was the present for you, right? And this is what I am. I was explaining to you. This is what I was explaining to you. How much is this necklace? How much is this necklace? And you say, this one, that one, right? You have the two options. How much are these earrings? Because they are plural, right? The earrings, here you have them, the earrings. And you say, how much are these earrings? Which ones? The yellow ones, the red ones, right? And you say they are, and you give the price, right? So right now, I need you to get two objects. Get two objects. Cualquier objeto, lo que tengan ahí cerca. Get two objects. Get two objects, because you are going to use them for an exercise. I need you to get two objects. And when you have them, let me know. Okay, you have two objects. And I need you please, I need you please to, to think on a price for them. I need you to think on a price for your objects. Think on a price for your objects. Okay, I am going to do my two objects here. I am going to go with, okay. And here I have another one. Okay. Okay, do you have your two objects? Because I have my objects ready. <laughs> I have a cat and I have a dog, right? I have my two things here. And I have a pet, a pet shop. The cat is $25 and the dog mm -hmm. is $50, right? And you can tell mouse, me. Mouse or dog? <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> I, I, I went to kindergarten, but I didn't, I didn't pass the drawing class. <laughs> okay. And I have here the two objects. And I say, teacher, I want one of your animals. And I say, which one? And I say, and you have to tell me, ah, the cat. How much is it? How much is it? Cuanto vale? And I say, it is $25. Mm, it's too expensive. No, thank you. Right? Because it's very expensive. So you say, hey, I want one of your objects. And you are going to tell me which one. And you have to show me both. Okay? Cuando yo les diga que quiero uno de sus dos objetos, ustedes me van a decir... Ah, accident, forever, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Bote todo aquí en el estudio. Sorry. Which one you are going to say? And you are going to show me the two objects. And I'm going to say that one, the blue one, the red one, depending on what you are showing. And I am going to say, how much is it? How much is it? Y me tienen que decir cuánto vale. Y ahí les digo yo si lo compro o no lo compro. Okay, no sean careros, okay. Let's see. Mr. Juan, can you show me your two objects? Cell phone. Uh -huh. And my calculator. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Juan, I want to buy one of your objects. Okay. Show them. And you say, 
Which one? Which one? Uh, the black one on your right hand. Okay. <laughs> People, left, right, right. <laughs> Right, right, la mano derecha es con la que escribimos, yeah. right, yeah. I write with the right, right. Okay, the one on your right hand, how much is it? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. I think, I think it's a little bit expensive. Is that okay. your final price? <laughs> Is that your final price? El precio final? Um, yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. and the calculator? In the calculator, how much oh, is it? The chip. <laughs> how much is that's the calculator? Um, um, Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Thank you very much. I am going to come back. Ah, okay. I am going to come back. I, I waiting for you. I am going to to buy something else and I will come back. Okay. okay. Thank you, Juan. Thank you very okay. much. A clap for Juan okay. because he survived. Yay. Yeah. Good. Let me see. Sonia, can I see your two objects, please? Which one? Um, I want the pink one. How much is it? Is one dollar? One dollar for a pink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's pink. It's pink. It's pink. Okay, one dollar for a pink. Okay, I I will get it. I think it's reasonable. I think it's reasonable. I I will buy it. Thank you very much. One dollar for the <laughs> okay. pink. Good. Now. Uh, let me see. Elizabeth, show me your two objects, please. Yes. Oh. Which one? Oh my God, I like the two of them. Uh, I like the yellow one. How much is it? Is $5? Five dollars. Hey, that's a bargain. Give it to me. Thank you very much. Is, is that is that from shopping center? No, right? <laughs> so, so, me los han regalado. Ambos. Oh, good. Five dollars. Yeah, I think it's reasonable. Thank you very much. Give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you. Okay, now Elizabeth, do the same process with Maximo. Maximo, show your objects. Ahora Elizabeth va a hacer el mismo proceso que yo estaba haciendo. Go ahead. Ay, a ver si me acuerdo. No veo a Máximo. ¿Ah? No veo a Máximo. Máximo, he's right here. Vamos a buscar. Ahí There está. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué es? ¿Una papa? Yeah. ¿Qué es? Yeah, una papa. ¿Y el otro es? ¿Colores? Custer. Portavaso. Ah, es... Which one do you want? The potato or the other one? How did you mention it, uh, Mr. How Maximo? much is it? Uh, patata. <laughs> How much is the potato? <laughs> the potato. 25 cents. 25 dollars. No, 25 Centau. cents. <laughs> Así se ven los chambres, mira. 25 cents. Me a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Yes. A quarter of dollar. ¿Dónde me lo entrega? <laughs> entrega en metro. Yeah. No, in that, in that case you say, I want it. En el, en, en ¿Ah? el penalito. En el penalito, ay, qué miedo. <laughs> Adentro. <laughs> you have to be very careful there. Thank you, Maximo. She's going to buy the potato. Maximo, do the same with Iris. Iris, show your objects for Maximo. Let me see. I am going to make it bigger. 
Okay, good. Hi, Iris. Hi, Maximo. Uh, este son mis say, which a one do you want, do you say? A oui. pen and a cable. And a cable. Is it is it a cable or they are headphones? Or earphones? Uh, ah, they are uh, earphones. Earphone. Earphone. How much is the headphones? Uh, the price is one dollar. It's very expensive. <laughs> one dollar. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's a bargain. <laughs> Are you going to take it on one dollar? One dollar, Maximo. Aproveche. Maybe. Uh, it's an offer. It depends. Is it? Uh -huh. depends. Depends. How much is the pen? The pen. The red uh -huh. pen. The price is oh, one quarter. One quarter. Okay. One quarter. 25 cents. It's okay. So you say, I take it. I take it. Es, si I me take lo llevo. It. I take it. Okay, yeah. Ganamos. Oh. Ganancia neta al día. <laughs> one quarter. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, Iris, I need you to do the same process with Rosemary. Okay. Rosemary, can you show your two objects, please? Oh, what a beautiful thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, no, I want both. So? You can say, uh, for sure. Uh, Rosemary is going to say, which one do you want? Quieres, right? Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Uh -huh. And then you ah. say, the lamp or the nail polish? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Nail, the, lamp? the lamp or the nail polish? Nail, como uña. Nail polish. Nail polish. De ley nail tener uno aquí a la par de la compu. ¿eh? I have one to uh, a nail polish. The oh. lamps is beautiful. Oh. And then you say, how much is it? Iris le tendría que preguntar, how much is it? ¿Cuánto vale? How much is it? Um, five dollars. Five dollars. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take it, you say. I take it as take me la llevo. I take it. I take it. Here you take have it. the five dollars, right? Beautiful. I take it too. <laughs> take it. ¿Dónde entrega? <laughs> ¿A dónde la voy a traer? That's very beautiful. Where did you buy it? Where did you buy it? ¿Dónde la compró, Rosemary? Um... En línea hice el pedido. Ah, ya voy a haber vendido cinco aquí. <laughs> Good, thank you very much. So that's the idea. And this process that we were doing, thank you for the ones who participated and you were voluntarily participating. That's very good. And in this case, what we are doing is to explain, right? Or to put into practice the different forms of asking for different objects. Right? This is exactly the same thing that we do when we go to the market, when we go to a store, for example. So you go and you go and ask for products. You ask for prices. And I was using different vocabulary. For example, when you say, that's too expensive. That's very cheap. That's okay. That's reasonable, right? Those are phrases that you can use when you buy objects. For for example, here, this was like the, the exercise that we were doing, right? That you have two objects and you have different prices. Imagine here that I put the price on the glasses, right? They are, 
I am going to say that this one are $25 and that these ones are um, $4, okay? And I say, how much are these sunglasses? And you say, which ones? The pink ones, they are $25. Hey, that's expensive, you say. It's a very Salvadorian word, que caro, right? That's expensive. And the opposite will be, that's cheap, okay? It's like, yeah, está barato, right? That's cheap, that's reasonable, that's okay. That's not bad, that's expensive, right? And for sure, you can also use other expressions like, I am just window shopping. I am just window shopping. It means that you are just vitrineando, right? I am just window shopping. It's like, I am not interested in getting anything, okay? Or you say, I am just looking. I am just looking around, right? I am just looking around. Solo ando viendo, right? I am just looking around. That's another phrase that you can use at the moment of going shopping, right? Or very good Salvadorian expressions. I will come back later. Thank you very much. Save it for me, you say. Guardemelo. <laughs> Save it for me. And you never come back, right? <laughs> the person saving it forever. Save it for me. And they never come back, okay? I am going to put some prices on these phones. And we're going to do the exactly the same exercise that we were doing before. Okay, there you go. I am buying cell phones. Okay, I am selling cell phones right now. Okay, cell phones, cell phones. Who wants cell phones? Cell phones, cheap cell phones. And I am going to ask Mr. Luis Arevalo. Cell phones, cell phones. How much? Uh -huh. How much are are the cell phones? How much are these cell phones? And I say, which one? The red. The red one. It's one hundred dollars. Oh, this that cheap. That's cheap. Give me the money, right? That's <laughs> cheap, you say. Very good. Excellent, Luis. Very good job. Mr. Josu Alexander, cell phones, cell phones. Take your cell phone. Hello. Huh? How much are these cell phones? Uh, which <clears throat> one do you want? The red uh, one or the silver one? The silver one. The silver one is $525. That's expensive. <laughs> uh, well, I have another one in $100 if you want. Do you want the other one, Mr. Josu Alexander? The red one? Se fue el cliente. Okay. <laughs> it's one hundred dollars for a big piece of brick. Well, do you remember when we used to have these ones? ¿Quién no tuvo un pedazo de ladrillo como esos? You had it. The first one. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I I had one. I remember. It was from my father, but I like it. So this is the way you use it when you say how much. How much is this? And when you go to a store, you say, uh, how much is that blouse? How much are those jeans? And you specify the product that you want to take with you, okay? I have here a short example of a conversation and it says, uh, let's see. I am going to ask chin, 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 the most talkative person in the classroom, Cecilia Rivas, help me with the conversation. Number one. 
Number one. Um, number one, excuse me, how much are those, uh, these, these jeans? How much are those jeans? How much those jeans? Okay. Which ones? Do you mean these? Uh, no, the light blue ones. Oh, they are $59.95. Almost uh, 16. Almost 60, you say? 60. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> this is a very common expression in our lives. It's like, what? Three dollars for one mango. <gasps> Are you kidding? It's like, no, thank you. Right? And you don't buy it anymore, right? What about the next one? And you have here. I like that backpack over there. And I'm going to ask, let me see, Angel Lopez to help me to read number two. Okay. Number two. I like that backpack over there. How much is it? Which one? The real one. It's twenty-seven forty-nine, but this green one, it's only twenty-two twenty-five. Okay, let me see it, please. Okay, let me see it, please. It's like, muestremelas. And you, when you want to buy it, right? Cuando, lo, cuando tenemos interés en comprar, you can say, hey, let me see it, right? But if we don't want to buy, it's like, thank you or no thank you, right? That's the only thing that we can use. Thank you very much, Angel, for helping me thank reading. You. Very good. Okay. So I am going to show you two bags. Let me get the other one because I have only one. And we're going to do the same exercise that I have here. Okay, I will take them. Just give me one second. And here we go. I have two sweaters here on sale. And we're going to do the same process of the conversation. And we're going to start. Who can help me to create the conversation? I need one volunteer to help me to create the conversation. Excuse me. Uh -huh. How Hi. much are those sweater? Oh, which one? The black one or the green one? No, the black one. The black one is $10. And the green one is $25. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> eh, well, today, because it's an offer, I am going to give it to you in $6, the black one. $6? Yes. It's an offer. That's cheap. That's, That's cheap, cheap. Right, for your wife. Okay. Ah, you can take it, you say. I take it, you say. That's cheap. Right. And if you have the two objects here, imagine that you have the two objects here, like in the like in the pase mese, right? We're going to create the conversation number two. And Elizabeth is going to help me. Conversation number two. This is not a backpack, okay? It's a sweater. I like Dice, I like that. Tengo que cambiar la palabra yes. backpack, ¿verdad? Yes, because this is not a backpack, it's a sweater. Es sería black sweater. Ajá. Uh -huh. I like that black sweater. No, pero no me gusta ese, me gusta el otro. ¿Cuál es el color del otro? 
the green one or the turquoise? Green. Turquoise. Green. Uh -huh. Turque. Turquoise. <laughs> Turquesa. Turquoise. Turquoise. <laughs> I okay. like that. I like that turquoise sweater over there. How much is it? Um, the turquoise is twenty-seven forty-nine, but the black one is only six dollars. Oh, this is uh, expenses is caro, verdad? Yes. This is expensive. Very, very, very expensive. Oh, it's an offer. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you say <laughs> anything less you say anything less is na menos anything less anything any, less any anything less uh, you can take it in ten dollars ten dollars uh -huh. mm. From twenty-seven to ten dollars. A ver, muéstrame otra vez. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it, please. Very good job. Very good job. Exactly <laughs> like that is the sentences or the conversations that we create at the moment of making a, an offer for a product. Right. Very good job to the volunteers who helped me creating the conversations. Right. And. In this case, we are going to practice a bit of pronunciation. When you say, excuse me, you don't say, excuse me, say, excuse me. Practice with me, excuse me. 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 They are perfect. 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 I like the blue one. I like, I like the blue one. In that case, you specify the one that you prefer, right? I like the blue one. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. They are, they are not, not very, very attractive. attractive. They are not very attractive. They are, they are not very, very attractive. And on the contrary, you say they are very attractive. They are, they, are they are very attractive. They are very attractive. They are very attractive. They are very attractive, right? In this case, you make an, a stronger voice a sound on the word that you want to uh, emphasize. In this case, you say, excuse me, right? You don't say, excuse me, right? You say, excuse me. They are perfect right they are perfect i like the blue one i like the yellow one i like the red one right it's not any other one if you say if you have two options and you say no teacher i like the blue one this one no 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 the blue one it's like this one i like this one but the red one isn't i like the blue one only the blue one ah, okay so you specify which one do you prefer and say like this is very attractive or they are not very attractive right that's the way we use these type of phrases let me see let's go here because based on the different objects that you can buy we are going to do a little exercise right we're going to do a little exercise here and I have here an exercise with four objects. I have a backpack, I have bracelets, I have shoes, and I have a dog, okay? I need you please to help me complete the questions for this exercise. How will you complete the questions for this exercise? And I have the first example. How much is this backpack? It's $31.99. For question number two, I need you to write questions two, three, and four on your notebook. Write questions two, three, and four on your notebook. Make sure that you are talking about 
singular or plural, if you are talking about something that you are touching or if you are pointing, make sure that you use that as well, okay? I need you to write the three sentences on your notebook. How much? How much is those? Mm, write them on the notebook and then you are going to compare. Necesito que las escriban para que las puedan corregir. Write them down. And then, please, if you can send them on the chat, that will be perfect for us to compare. Compare and contrast. Okay, if you have them, please send them to me on the chat. It can be on the chat in Zoom or on the chat in WhatsApp. I'll be waiting for your answers. It can be in the chat in Zoom or in the chat in WhatsApp. Any of the two is possible. Any of the two are possible. Do you have them ready? Remember to send it on the chat for us to compare. Thank you. I have your answers coming. That's pretty awesome. Okay. In the case of Luis, we are missing the verb to be. Okay. And in the case of Annalise, we have uh, singulars and plurals together. We need to check on that one. You cannot say how much is those because those is plural. I have answers on the chat. Let's see. Okay, how much are those bracelets? Because are, you are pointing at them. That's very good. How much are those bracelets? Very good, very good. I have Max, your answers. And let me see, how much are those bracelets? Very good. How much are these shoes? Because you are touching them. And how much is this dog? Very good job. Uh, how much is, are those bracelets? How much are these shoes? And how much is that dog? Very good, Nancy, very good job. How much are those bracelets? How much are these shoes? Very nice job, right? 
In the case of Luis, remember that we need to use the verb to be, right? We need to use the verb to be at the moment of creating the sentences. How much is that dog? Very good, because you are pointing at the dog. How, how much is that dog? So for question number two, what is question number two, people? How much are those? Oops. How much are those bracelets? Because bracelets. they are plural. And it says they are $29. What about the next question? How, How much, much are, are these, these shoes? shoes? They are $64. And the last one. How much is that dog? How much is that dog? That's my dog and he's not for sale. <laughs> That's not for sale. It's my Kiara, right? That's my dog and it is not for sale, right? That is the question. In this case, we need to remember, right? And we need to be very careful not to use, for example, is with those, right? We cannot use is with those because we have singular and plural. You cannot use is and these, how much is these shoes, for example? That will be incorrect, right? We have to be very careful if it is plural, plural are, and if it is singular, is, okay? And in this one, I have here the examples and I have the words with them. I will ask Vilma Melendez, can you help me with this second exercise? I have the first one done. Ya el primero ya lo hice yo. And it says, Good afternoon. Oh, hi. How much is this watch? Um, it is $195. Uh -huh. um, how and much? how much is that? Um, that one or that, that one? one? Okay, that one. How much that is one. that one? And it says, it is or they are, people? It is $255. Oh, really? Well, thanks anyway. <laughs> it's like, muchas gracias. <laughs> it is like, me voy con mi dignidad intacta. Well, yes. thanks anyway. <laughs> muchas gracias. Okay. <laughs> It is like, like when you go with your $10 and they say it's $500. Eh, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Anyway, <laughs> bye. I will come back. <laughs> yes. I was going to pay with Bitcoin. No, we accept Bitcoin. <laughs> I, uh, with credit card. Yeah, we accept credit yes. card. No, but with, with I don't have cash. We have a, an ATM, right? You know what's the meaning of ATM? An ATM, it's a cajero automatic. ATM. It is what you call to the cajero, right? And say, well, thanks anyway. It's like, I don't want it. Thank you very much. And I have the other ones. Sonia, can you help me with the next one? Excuse me. Excuse me. How much? are those jeans? The next one, uh, Maximo, can you help me? They are only 59. They are only 59. Juan, continue. How much, and how much is, uh, this sweater. Nancy, continue. Which one? They are all different. Rosario, continue. Miss Rosario. Add one. Add two. Add three. Carlos Antonio, continue. Uh, Claire. Uh, it's 
Uh, okay, we were here. I like it. I like I like I like this green one. I like this green one. Eh, Rosario, welcome back. Continue. There. Okay, we are talking about the sweater and it says this sweater. It says which one? They are all different. I like this green one. It's only one sweater. You say it's or they are? Is it's there? Okay, it's because it's singular. It's, 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 it's thirty-four dollars. It's thirty-four dollars, and I say thirty-four dollars. Well, that's not bad. Thank you very much. Well, that's not bad, right? It's a very good price, and we're going to do the last one together. I like sunglasses. I like those. Those, right? I like those sunglasses over there. Which ones? Which ones? The ones. small brown ones. They're $199. Right? Oh, they are expensive. <laughs> oh, they are expensive. For example, when we are talking about prices and you say, uh, imagine this one, you are going to read first the 100s and then the complement, right? In this case, we have 500, son 500, and then you read the complement, 567. <laughs> For example, if you have here, You have to read first the thousand, then the one hundred, and then the complement. You say one hundred, one thousand, one hundred thirty-four, one thousand one hundred thirty-four. How do you read this one? Seven hundred sixty-five. What about this one? Mm, 67.99 right and what about this one one million okay <laughs> okay is it correct? Como dice one que million. One yes. million. One million. One hundred thirty-four thousand. 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 One hundred. Two hundred. Twenty. Thirty-four. Two hundred. Okay. One million. One thousand. Thirty-four. Hundred. Two hundred. Thirty-four. Two hundred. Thirty-four. Right. <laughs> It was like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> it's a little bit complicated, but it's easy once you divide them, right? It's easy when you divide them. But you are not going to buy something that expensive, okay? No creo que vayamos a comprar algo así de caro, así que don't worry. <laughs> How much is that house? It's 1,130,000 and a lot of numbers. No, right? We're going to buy uh, a small quantities like this one. These are the most common ones that you can find, right? No les digo que no vayamos a comprar un ofertón así de caro. But it's not really common. <laughs> no pasa a diario. Okay. When you talk about different objects, you talk about different materials as well. We have different types of materials. We have plastic, cotton, that it's algodón, right? Rubber, that it's a... Eh, uh, ule, right, ule, but it has another name, I don't remember. Ule or couch or something like that. Uh, gold, uh, that it's oro, silk, seda, leather, that it's um, cuero, cuero. Uh, silver, that is plata, right, silver, plastic, 
you know what plastic is, and wool, that is lana. I am going to give you two minutes for you to go and get two objects with different materials. Go ahead. Two objects with different materials. I am going to get mine. Two objects with different materials. Run, 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 run. Corra por ahí, voy a buscarme dos objetos con diferentes materiales. Two objects with different materials. Two objects with different materials. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I am going to go and get my objects. Materials. Do you have your materials? Okay. Do you have your materials ready? Yes. I have my materials. What is this one? I'm going to show it to you. Leather. Leather, mm -hmm. right? It's a leather jacket. Jacket. A leather jacket, right? Mis tiempos de motociclista. Ah, <laughs> a leather jacket, right? And mm -hmm. I have what the is this boots. material? What boots. is this? But what is the material? Rubber. Rubber, rubber. right? I have rubber. rubber boots and a leather jacket. These are my my, my materials. What do you have? Give me the material and the name of the object. I have rubber boots and I have a leather jacket. What are your objects? Teacher, I have a plastic bottle. A plastic bottle, very good. <coughs> and a pillow polyester or cotton. And a cotton pillow. Right? A cotton I think it's pillow. a cotton uh -huh. pillow. Yes. Okay, cool. good, very good job, Vilma, very nice. <laughs> Show me your objects, people. Uh huh. Objects, objects. Uh huh. Nancy, what do you have? Glass. You have a glass, glass. Glass. <laughs> you have a glass, uh huh, made of a glass. Ruler. Plastic. A ruler. Plastic. Okay, you say, you don't say ruler, plastic. You say it is a. Plastic? Plastic ruler. Plastic ruler. Very good job. Uh, Elizabeth, what do you have there? Uh, how do you say cola and um, gancho, the pelo? Uh, okay. In that case, it's a hair pin or a hair clip. Hair clip? It's the one that gets like uh, this. Uh, I have... Um, clear no, the, the hair, hair, hair clip, hair, hair clip. Este, pero es que no me acuerdo cómo se dice de metal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if it is just metal, you say I have a metal hair clip. No sé si es de plata, right? You can say it's a silver hair clip. <laughs> Wait, es que eh, así como los, los aritos. Silver, ¿verdad? Silver, yes. Silver, uh -huh. it's something like this, right? Yeah, sí. Eh, uh, es, me dijo es silver hair, hair clip. clip. Good, very good. You have eh, a silver hair clip. And a plastic cosa? ponytail. ponytail. It can be a ponytail. Yes. Pon ponytail. ponytail. Una colita. Ponytail. Plastic ponytail. Ponytail, Black. tail, como colita de caballo. Ponytail. A plastic <laughs> ponytail. Ponytail. Or it can be also a hair, well, a hair band is the one that you put here, right? A hair band. But in that case, you can use it as a, a ponytail. Okay. Um, Maximo, what are your objects? What is it? A paper. <laughs> a paper, paper, paper. <laughs> a piece of paper and a piece of paper and 
farm block. A farm motor. block, a farm motor. block, right? A farm motor. <laughs> it's the spuma, right? Foam, foam. Good. Luis, what are your objects? This is a toys. Uh, what is the material? Polyester and glass pellet, pellet, pellets. <laughs> okay, so that's a polyester <laughs> toy. The, the, the plastic. Yes, that's a polyester toy. And only that. Glass pellets. And the glass pellets that are the little balls and that it has this, inside. And this glass of plastic. Plastic glasses, right? Plastic, plastic glass. glasses. Siempre el material va primero. El material okay. va primero y después el objeto. Juan, what do you have? The microphone, sweetie. No, uh -huh. it's a microphone too. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a um, destapador, bottle open. A, a silver bottle opener. Open. Yeah. And cell phone open made of plastic. <laughs> ah, that's a plastic cell phone yeah, holder. Yeah. Holder, holder. Because you put the cell phone right there. Well, my dear students, we're going to continue practicing about materials on the next class tomorrow, okay? We are going to work on the different materials and we are also going to work a little bit on comparatives and superlatives. So please, I need you to do a little bit of grammar investigation about comparatives for tomorrow, okay? Comparatives and superlatives. We are going to study that on tomorrow's class. Have a beautiful night, rest Thank a lot, you. and Thank it is you. a great pleasure for me to have you back from vacation. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.